China has set sights on near-Earth Object 2020 PN1 as the target of a combined asteroid deflection and observation test mission. And the defense system they created for it is insane. And you'll see when you watch this video to the end. 2020 PN1 is an Earth-crossing asteroid and a temporary co-orbital companion to the Earth. It was discovered in 2020 and estimates of its size put it around 40 meters in diameter. The new details of the near-Earth asteroid defense system demonstration and verification test mission were presented by Long Lehao, chief designer of China's Long March rocket series, in a recent Science and Innovation China series lecture. Long presented a slide that indicates the impactor mission will launch in 2026 on a Long March 3B rocket. The Long March 3B launcher is a workhorse for missions to geostationary orbit, but has also launched lunar robotic lander missions. The mission will include a separate impactor and orbiter. The impactor will collide with the near-Earth object 2020 PN1, while the orbiter spacecraft will make observations. If correct, the mission appears to combine elements of the separate NASA DART mission due to collide with Dimorphos, a moon orbiting the near-Earth asteroid Didymos in September, and the European Space Agency's HERA mission, which will observe Didymos and Diformos later this decade to determine the effects of the DART collision. Combined, the DART and HERA missions are known as the Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment Collaboration. Early in April, China had announced its plans to attempt to alter the orbit of a potentially threatening asteroid with a kinetic impactor test as part of plans for an entire planetary defense system. Still, it is Long's lecture, however, that provides the first details regarding the mission target and profile, which differentiate it from earlier proposals. The lecture also included exploration missions, including Tianwen-2, a near-Earth asteroid sample return mission, the Tianwen-3 Mars sample return, and a Jupiter system mission. Long Lehao also reiterated key ideas, which include plans for a two-launch mission to put a pair of Chinese astronauts on the moon by 2030, a new methane liquid oxygen heavy lift rocket and reusable launchers, and future propulsion concepts such as nuclear propulsion and a space plane. Chinese researchers had previously published papers on concepts for kinetic impactors, namely the Assembled Kinetic Impactor, or AKI, using a Long March 5, and the more complex Enhanced Asteroid Deflector, which would first collect rocks from a near-Earth asteroid before impacting a potentially hazardous asteroid. The China National Space Administration, or CNSA, also stated in April that it would establish an early warning system and develop software to stimulate operations against near-Earth objects and test and verify basic procedures. Well, is it just the 2020 PN1 they have their sights on? Short answer, of course not. A leading Chinese university has begun constructing an array of more than 20 large radar antennas to track asteroids that can potentially be hazardous to Earth. The project, named China Fuyan or Compound I, is led by the Beijing Institute of Technology. The array aims to bounce signals off asteroids with 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers of Earth. Yes, it is about as distant as the Sun. The signal bounce is used to image and track objects and also determine the possibility that they could impact our planet. So far, two antennas have been constructed at a site in Chongqing in southern China. According to Chinese language outlet Science and Technology Daily, the pair is expected to be tested and operational by September, which first reported the development. The completed system will include more than 20 radar antennas, each with a diameter of 82 to 98 feet, or 25 to 30 meters. Chinese news reports claim that the system will be the world's farthest reaching radar system, but very few details about the project, such as wavelengths at which it will operate, are available. Long Tang, president of the Beijing Institute of Technology, told Beijing news outlet Global Times that the project will meet the country's requirements for near-Earth defense, space sensing capability, and applicability for tracking satellites and debris on Earth orbit. The project will also be on the cutting edge of studies on the formation of asteroids. According to Space.com, the China National Space Administration announced in April that it was working on a planetary defense plan that includes tracking near-Earth objects and launching an asteroid deflection test mission in the next few years. The new decadal survey by the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine found that the ground-based radar could be one of humanity's best tools for protecting Earth against the threat of asteroids. 
China is investing heavily in space. In 2021, it led in the number of orbital launches with a total of 55, compared to the United States 51. China is also in the top three in spacecraft deployment for 2021. China's state-owned space company, StarNet, is planning a mega constellation of 12,992 satellites, even as the country has nearly finished building the Tiangong space station. One might wonder, is it possible that Xi Jinping's China wants to dominate space? How about the moon? China's space budget is estimated to be around $13.3 billion from 2020 figures, which is only half of what NASA spends, but still a dramatic increase from $1.79 billion spent in 2009. The United States and China increased their space budgets from 2020, the US by 5.6% and China by 17.1% compared to the previous year. How is China looking to establish itself as the dominant superpower in space? Simple, through patents. Patents are seen as one way to help define and control standards for next generation technologies. This has been a goal for China in many different sectors, from telecommunications to artificial intelligence. The Assistant Vice President for Intellectual Property Solutions at Gray B, Vikas Jha says, These patents do not justify the level of innovation in China related to space, but also a well thought out strategy to protect these innovations to gaining economic advantage for its space related tech. He adds, In the future, most of the patents in cosmonautics will be owned by China unless others follow suit, meaning China can become a gatekeeper for the use of space tech for both private players and governments. This is in line with the Chinese strategy of becoming a superpower not just on Earth, but also in space. Between January 2000 and June 2021, Chinese entities filed 6,634 patents related to space travel, including vehicles and equipment, according to data compiled for CNBC by Gray B a patent research firm. But nearly 90% of those patents requests were submitted in the last five and a half years. One other thing to note is that there may be a major disagreement over the so-called Artemis Accords, an agreement led by NASA to create rules around responsible and fair space exploration. Australia, Canada, Italy, Japan, Luxembourg, the United Arab Emirates, and the UK all signed up, but China did not. Professor of Space Law and Policy at the UK's Northumbria University says that President Xi Jinping has declared that China's space dream is to overtake all nations and become the leading space power by 2045. He adds that this all feeds into China's ambition to be the world's single science and technology superpower. Syed Moshar, director of the London Institute of Space Policy and Law and research fellow Christoph Beichel said, it is important for China and the U.S. because it can advance technological development in areas such as national security and some socio-economic development. The researchers also suggested these satellites could help protect China's national security by having telescopes and sensors pointed towards Earth. According to the paper, they can monitor the geosynchronous orbit and a high-altitude belt hosting many communication and military satellites. The Earth-defending satellites could help China keep a close eye on the other country's satellites and improve the ability to protect high-value space assets. Ultra-precise atomic clocks on these new satellites could help improve the performance and accuracy of the Beidou Satellite Positioning System, the Chinese version of GPS. That's not all. Two optical telescopes would be built on the moon's south and north poles to survey the sky for any threats that slip through the ground-based early warning network, especially those approaching from the blind side facing the sun. Under the plan, when the system detects a surprise visitor with potential to cause severe damage, it sends one or all of the Guardian satellites to intercept the asteroid with a lead time as short as a week, faster than any large rockets launched from Earth could be. The researchers have suggested that these satellites could help protect China's national security by having telescopes and sensors pointed towards Earth. So, what do you think of China's new asteroid defense system? Let us know in the comment section below.